Hi Church, Jim Douglas here with your weekly news update. Uh, first of all, there's a whole bunch of meetings this week uh, that you may want to be part of. So particularly uh, of great importance is on Monday the 4th. So this Monday night at 7.30 p.m. we'll be having a prayer meeting. And so I'd love to see you there. And particularly we'll be praying for our way out of lockdown and thinking through how we do that. There's a lot to still pray for there. So I'd love to see you at that meeting. On Tuesday the 5th at 7.30, there's also a prayer meeting for the evangelism team. Uh, that invite will be sent to them directly. If you're not part of the evangelism team and it interests you, please let me know. And I'll be glad to include you in that. Then on Saturday at 2 p.m. is our cameo. And cameo is a chance for the women in our congregation to connect together. Uh, and so if you'd like to be part of that, uh, if you want more information, sorry, contact Vanessa Douglas. She, she is organising that. Then on Sunday the 10th at 3 p.m. is our Christmas planning meeting. Now I'm pleased to say that this week we've got a lot more information about what we might and might not be able to do at Christmas. Uh, and so we're probably in a position we can finally plan that. Uh, you can join that, anyone is welcome, and just join that using our regular Sunday service link. Also, as in every term, we'll be running Christianity Explored. Uh, and if you or anyone you know would like to be part of that course, again, please get in touch with me. We'd be glad to have you there. We haven't organised the times yet. It will depend on who wants to be there. Uh, but importantly today, I want to talk to you about our roadmap out of lockdown. At the moment, there are kind of three targets. The first one is our 70% double vaccinated adult population. We expect that it means that from about the 11th or 18th of October, our services will continue entirely online. However, up to five fully vaccinated adults and their children 12 and under may gather from that date in the homes of fully vaccinated people and share in the online service. We're hoping this will give you an opportunity to invite those people who aren't looking at this video today, those people who struggle with the technology, to come to your house and share in the online service together. The second step is on the Monday following 80% double vaccination in New South Wales, which we expect to mean either the 25th of October or the 1st of November, our services will be both online and in person. However, the in-person services will be limited. They will require masks, there will be no singing, and we'll have a maximum of around 50 people in the building. You will probably also have to register. We're still waiting on information around that. Then the third target is the 1st of December. Now from the 1st of December, we'll continue the online services, but the live services will now include singing without the need for masks. Now it is important to, to note, because it's December, it's, it's summer, our COVID safe plan will require us to think about fresh air circulation. And that will probably mean there is no air conditioning and all the windows are open for those live services. Now, of course, we're also thinking about options for play group, growth groups, kids club, youth group, over 55s. And we will update you as we have further clarification on our requirements and questions. But church, God bless you. And I hope you're encouraged. And I hope you're looking forward to being able to gather again together.